All right, come on, you gotta smile when you see a problem like this. You look at it and you say, all right, I've been going through rational expression, rational expression, rational expression. I think I kind of got it. And then you now throw in some cubes. Um, what is that going on? What am I gonna be able to do on this one? I have absolutely no idea. But that's okay, I'm just gonna work you through this problem uh, to go through it. But I think this is one that gives me a smile because it's like, ah, man, it's, there's so many different components going on with this. So let's always just start with the basics of what we're looking at. Again, remember, we want to simplify our numerator and then simplify our denominator as much as possible. So before even getting crazy, I noticed that I can simplify my numerator because they have a GCF, and that's good. That's always the first thing. We don't want to look at make things so much complicated. Just because we see a cube, don't say, I don't know how to factor with the cubes. Let's just break this down very simply and say, all right, they have a GCF. I can factor out actually an x. That's going to make that x squared, so it's A-OK. -okay. Now, I can factor not just an x, but also a 3. So when I factor out a 3x, I'm now going to be left with an x squared plus 2x plus 4. All right, now inside this, this is something that I can uh, simplify by factoring. And even more importantly, we could see that, importantly, OK, actually, I cannot break that up. I had it switched around. That is not something we can factor further down um, because there are not any, no two numbers that multiply to give me 4 that add to give me 2. So unfortunately, we're kind of stuck at that point. But that doesn't mean we need to stop because remember, we still need to simplify our denominator and see if we can um, eliminate anything. Now, you look at your denominator and you say, well, that doesn't look any easier. That doesn't look like it's going to eliminate anything in my numerator. But we do notice it's a cubed. And when we're looking at a cubed, we want to look at, can we factor out a GCF? Or can we use the difference of two cubes? So remember, the difference of two cubes, if I have a cubed minus b cubed, we can rewrite that as a, a minus b times a squared plus ab plus b squared. All right, so in my case, I have x cubed minus 8. All right, so I need to make sure is 8 a cubed number? Yes, it's 2 times 2 times 2. So therefore, I can rewrite that. So if a cubed is a, then therefore, I could say that I have x cubed, or the cube root of x, cube root of x cubed is x, and the cube root of 8 is going to be 2. So I can have this as x minus 2 times x squared plus 2 times x plus 2 squared. All right, now I can simplify that into x minus 2 times x squared plus 2x plus 4. So let's now write that in our denominator. So we'll have x minus 2 times x squared plus 2x plus 4. Well, what do you know? Lo and behold, this huge complicated problem has actually done us a great favor because since this is distributed across multiplication, I know I can just separate these and say, all right, well, this is being divided by that, which is going to leave us with 1. So we don't need to re-keep those up there. We can just multiply our final version of our simplified rational expression, which will be 3x divided by x minus 2. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you simplify using difference of two cubes and factor on a GCF. Thanks.